Now back to the southern border where a high stakes legal fight continues over a floating barrier placed in the Rio Grande to stop migrant crossings. Governor Greg Abbott says the buoys are necessary to keep people out, but the Justice Department is now suing to have them removed amid complaints they could force adults and children to deeper parts of the river where they're more likely to drown. Janet Chamley is at the border in Eagle Pass, Texas. Janet, good morning. Wendy, good morning to you. The barrier is that string of buoys that you can see behind me right in the middle of the Rio Grande. It was installed earlier this month as part of a larger plan by the Republican governor of Texas, he says will secure the border. This morning, he says he has no intention of taking it out of the river, even in the face of that newly filed lawsuit. The string of orange buoys, a thousand feet long, are a symbol of defiance against the Biden administration on the part of Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Texas is defending its sovereignty and its constitutional right to secure the border of our state. The Department of Justice filed the suit against the state Monday, alleging the barrier violates federal law because the state did not get required army authorization. And we will take this lawsuit all the way to the United States Supreme Court. The White House slamming Governor Abbott. That's what he continues to do, political stunts in an inhumane way. The buoys anchored to the river bottom and difficult to climb over are part of a multi-billion dollar initiative the governor says will secure the Texas border. The plan also includes installing razor wire along riverbanks. No matter uh, how much razor wire that Governor Abbott puts up, it won't solve the border crisis. Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez represents Eagle Pass, Texas. This is going to take President Biden and, the, and Congress coming together and getting off a dead center. I love this river. River guide yeah, Jesse Fuentes says his livelihood is on the line. He's also suing the governor over the floating border. How has this impacted your business? Literally shut me down. What problem do you see the buoys posing for the migrants? They're a hazard. They're going to deviate from that location to deeper water. Four migrants, including an infant, died earlier this month trying to cross the river right here near Eagle Pass. Now, sex, some Texas troopers have said that that barrier will deter people from trying to cross. Others insist because the barrier is just a thousand feet long, that people will go around it in deeper water and still trying to get across. Wendy? Janet, what's the situation there right now? Are people still attempting to cross with the buoys there? Indeed, we see a big presence of law enforcement officers here. Uh, last night while we were out here, there were some people being detained. It's pretty early right now, but we saw people trying to cross last night. So it's maybe a deterrent, but it is not deterring everyone. And what sort of defense does Governor Abbott have against the Department of Justice? So, the, first of all, the, the governor is saying that he's going to take this all the way to the Supreme Court. It's going to be tried in a federal court in Austin. If he loses, he says he will appeal to the Fifth Circuit in New Orleans, and from there, the Supreme Court. He says that the state has the right to defend its borders and that the Department of Justice argument uh, that the uh, Harbors and River Act uh, does not apply. The DOJ is saying he should have gotten U.S. Army Corps of Engineers approval. He says that rule is not applicable in this case. Wendy. Janet, thank you.